The Alps. Stunning scenery. Chocolate box houses. How much more alpine can that get? Mountain goats. <laughs> oh, and one of the worst traffic jams in Europe. This is the Brenner Pass, one of the most vital road and rail routes between northern and southern Europe. Food, clothes, new cars, washing machines, fridges, socks. Many of the things we use and take for granted come by road or rail via this route through the middle of Europe. It's chaos. The solution? Ease the bottleneck by building a giant rail tunnel. This is one of the biggest engineering projects the world has ever seen. And it's two kilometers underground, beneath one of Europe's biggest mountain ranges. It'll take 20 years to do it. It is that ambitious. It's really, really big and really, really dangerous. I never thought one day I'd be riding deep down into the bowels of the earth underneath the Alps. Oh, I'm loving this. This is not just the story of a very, very long tunnel. It's the story of one of the most ambitious engineering projects ever attempted by mankind. Sure, it'll cost £7 billion and take 20 years to complete, but when it's done, they'll have built the impossible through the impassable. I've got 15 kilometres to go before I get to the business end of this tunnel. I don't know, there's something primitive about this. Mankind tunnelling through the earth. I'm on my way to see one of the world's biggest tunnelling machines cutting its way through a mountain on the Italian side of the Alps. All tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, are given names. And this one is Flavia. And she isn't just a boring machine, she's a moving factory. Weighing a monster 3,000 tonnes, Flavia is the length of four Olympic-sized swimming pools. All of this, as far as I can see, is one machine. Up at the front, the cutting head is chewing its way through the ancient rocks of the Alps, and this whole tail follows of it, all 200 metres. At the front, the cutting head is 11 metres tall, more than twice the height of a London bus. Flavia can grind her way through 15 metres of mountain rock every single day. And operations manager Giorgio Malicelli is taking me to the front to show me how. Giorgio, this then is the cutting head. This is the cutting head, yeah. So these are? These are the cutter discs, 19 inch. It's one. It. We got 64 of them on the, t on the cutter head. Unlike the machines I dreamt of as a kid that sort of come to a point like a big drill, this doesn't drill. No, it crushes. The 64 steel cutter discs score four millimeters into the rock face, which then cracks and fractures and falls away. As it rotates, the cutter head is pushed forwards by six powerful hydraulic arms pressing the rock face with the force of 15 40-ton trucks. What a machine. They are quite expensive. Yeah, talking, we're in the 20 million range for a machine like this. I'm always on the lookout for the small things that make the big possible, and well, here they are. These are the cutting wheels, these are used ones. And for this whole enterprise, all of this effort, all of these humans and machines, this is the interface between man and mountain. This is where it's chewed its way through the rock. It'll be taken away and recycled. I say they're small things. To be fair, they each weigh more than me, but in comparison, they're tiny, but crucial. What's amazing about Flavia is she is a multitasker. Whilst her teeth are grinding away at the business end, just behind the cutter head, she's also laying her own tunnel walls, placing a series of nine-ton concrete slabs onto the freshly cut rock, leaving a perfectly lined circular tunnel at a speed of one metre an hour. Flavia is one of three tunnel boring machines involved in this extraordinary $9 billion construction, which started in 2008 
and won't end until 2026. When completed, two main rail tunnels will join Forteza in Italy to Innsbruck in Austria, each a record-breaking 55 kilometers long. One tunnel will take trains north, the other south. All along the route will be a further 200 connecting access and maintenance tunnels. The finished tunnels will carry nearly a million tons of freight on 320 trains a day. But the most ambitious part of building the longest rail tunnel in the world lies in where they're trying to do it. This particular stretch of tunnel runs through the Peri-Adriatic Sea, the point where two tectonic plates come together. You might have heard of them. Behind me is Africa. Up ahead of me, that's Europe. To put it simply, this tunnel is being built through two of the Earth's enormous moving parts. And when those parts move, stuff happens. The Earth moves. I think I'll tread carefully from here. The collision of two continents created the Alps mountain range. But it also pushed up what would normally be horizontal layers of rock, creating unpredictable vertical layers. That means man and machine have no way of knowing if the rock is too hard or too soft to safely drill through before they hit it. But fortunately, they've come up with an ingenious solution to solve that one, and it is to build another tunnel. The quality of the rock is tested by this exploratory tunnel, 12 metres below and 20 metres ahead of the main tunnel project, and it's being bored by Flavia's little brother, Gunter. Geologist Jeremy de Jean de Labatti heads the team investigating the state of the mountain rock. So where are we going? To the south, to Italy. But I don't mean the whole tunnel, I meant now. Yeah, welcome to my lab. So what, what do you do down there? Yeah, we, we take samples, we look at the geology, and uh, we look if there are faults or joints, you know, who could be a problem for the drilling. So this is the sort of rock yeah. we're on now? Yeah. You see the foliation, yeah. As a geologist myself, I'll define it as stripy. Is it good for going through the TBM? Of course, yeah. You can drill really good. What's the worst thing you can find if you go... You've just if there's a lot of water, if, we, if, if there's water, and uh, that's, a, that's a big problem, yeah. And what would, be the, what would happen? We had to close down and then bypass that. The decisions made down here, then, as you take the samples and examine what you've just drilled through, there are tens of millions of euros, dollars, right? Of course, yeah, of course. With so much at stake, Jeremy and his crew of 12 tunnelers are charged with going where no man has gone before, which makes TBM Gunter a kind of subterranean starship enterprise. And at the helm, right behind the cutterhead, is Captain Kirk. Dollar in this case, he's engineer Lars Napstein. Yeah, the TBM is now taking up progress. Uh, it's that massive hole, not a problem. Yeah, that's kind of a massive hole. I mean, we had bigger ones, but as you see, it's, uh, it, it's a nice place to stay. Okay, and that's a good thing that just yeah. happened there. I don't need to be alarmed. It's common. But it's crumbling, it's caving in as we go. Yeah, I mean, it's a dirty business. It's dangerous, but it's also really impressive. I'm a little bit scared, if I'm honest, but I'm going to hide that because they're all very... Bloody terrifying, really. Right now, this TBM is chewing its way yeah. through the rocks, under the Alps, going where nobody has ever, ever been before. All this has already fallen, because it's... Look at that, we're going to just make bits of it flaking away. And that's what they're drilling through. 